Hey, Brian and Nia. Well, it was a, a slower day than many people expected, but court just adjourned, and the judge did rule that uh, he ruled against the defense's motion to halt any of the court proceedings. He says that the trial is going to start on time, which would be in October. But now, earlier today, Brian Koberger walked into court with a suit and tie, which is a little bit different than uh, previous times when he's come in wearing that orange jumpsuit. Now, he's charged with the murder of four University of Idaho college students. They were stabbed to death in their off-campus house in the early morning hours of November 13th. That home is currently boarded up and under 24-hour surveillance as students return back to campus for the start of the school year. Law enforcement found a knife cover or sheath at the crime scene. Police say they used investigative genetic genealogy to link DNA found on the knife sheath to Koberger. The FBI uploaded the DNA to a genetic genealogy service like Ancestry.com or 23andMe to identify possible family members of the suspect. That uh, family tree led them to Koberger. Koberger's team filed a motion to compel the state to hand over discovery from DNA evidence. The state argued that it's not relevant. The state's witness testified that it was crucial to Koberger's defense team and allowed uh, them to know what experts they may need for trial. The judge said that he will issue a written ruling later after reviewing both arguments in private. We're only six weeks away from the start of the trial. I don't believe in two months, in less than two months, that they're going to have a trial. I just don't see it. And furthermore, I think there's probably going to be more motions that are going to be coming, uh, potentially regarding venue. But the judge said today that he plans to start the trial on October 2nd and call uh, a nearly, th or excuse me, nearly 1,000 potential jurors. He also uh, touched on the Koberger's defense team alibi. He told the defense team that they have to let the state prosecutors know if there are any uh, witnesses that will be testifying to Koberger's alibi. They say that Koberger was, ar was driving around that night when the murders happened. In Moscow, Idaho, Mills Hayes, Fox 13 News.